Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to ask the question, what do you do if you hate lifting? What do you what do you do if you just absolutely hate lifting? Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, check out the link below. And don't forget, Massive Iron Live is on Friday at 11 Eastern. Get your butt over there. All right. I made a podcast this morning, and uh, I've been doing the podcast thing again. You guys can check out the link to that over to super over at superlivingtoday.com. But I made a podcast this morning, and this kind of, this idea kind of came into my head. What do you do if you hate lifting? What if you What do you do if now? Let me let me uh, kind of set the table here. What does it mean to hate lifting? Well, it doesn't mean you you necessarily don't like to go to the gym. Maybe you just don't like to chase progressive overload. Maybe you just aren't a strength fanatic, right? Maybe you just aren't a muscle fanatic. Maybe you enjoy lifting, but just not on that super intensity level that's promoted, you know, with the progressive overload and all that kind of happy horse shit on YouTube. Or maybe... Maybe you just hate lifting. You don't like it. You keep program jumping. You know it's supposed to be a cool thing. You know you want a good body, but you just don't really like it. You can't get into it. Things just aren't working out. You're just program hopping or lose interest or quit often. What do you do? Well, here's my advice for you. If you don't like lifting or if you have somebody in your life that... um, doesn't like lifting on the same level you do, right? Because lifters have a tendency to take their passion. Well, everybody does really with the things they're passionate about. They try to take the things they're passionate about and dump it on the next person. Like, you're going to love it just as much as I do. Uh, probably not, right? So if you if you don't love lifting or if you have somebody in your life uh, that, you know, probably is not going to like lifting as much as you do. What do you do? Like the question is, how do you train? What do you do? What's the point? What's, is there any, any middle ground? Well, there is. The first thing we, there's a couple things we need to understand. Number one, don't pressure other people into liking, into, don't pressure other people expecting them to love lifting as much as you do. I love lift. That's great. They might not love lift. Okay. But we can still look at the healthy, healthy side of things. First and foremost, we have to remove the pressure. Let's be honest. Doing a little bit of activity and a little bit of resistance training is far better than sitting your ass on the couch eating ding-dongs and Cheetos. It's a much better choice. Now, if you only get the 50-pound dumbbell benches, right? If you, ne- if you don't even want to chase progression after that point, is that okay? Absolutely, that's okay. That's 100% okay because number one, you're doing something that's active. You're doing a little bit of resistance training, which is going to be good for your health markers and bone density and uh, all that kind of stuff. So there are a lot of good things about lifting, even if you don't chase progression or have the goals of getting super strong or super big. So if you're someone that doesn't love lifting or doesn't love lifting as much as all the the hardcores, you know, on the on the worldwide inner tubes, relax a little bit. Take some of the pressure off yourself. That's okay. That's okay. Number two, if you don't love lifting, um, or if you have somebody in your life you want to get involved in lifting that doesn't love lifting as much as you, you need to understand that two to three sessions of 40 to 45 minutes a week, probably okay. That's probably all you need for general health, just for general health. That's probably all you need. You don't have to go in and try to find optimal stuff and try to be optimal. You know, a couple sets per exercise, 40 minutes, a well-rounded program. That's, that's good enough. You know, um, if I had somebody that didn't love lifting that came to me, but understood the health benefits, I'd probably start them on two programs a week, maybe three for about 40 minutes. I don't want to beat the living crap out of them, trying to make them live in the gym, trying to make them do what I do, trying to make them have the same passion levels I do. So if you know somebody that's not 
passionate about lifting, but respects the health benefits, or you're someone like that, it's okay to train just twice a week for even 30 minutes minimum. But I would say about 40 minutes uh, is is going to be probably the minimum you could do and get a reasonably well-rounded program in that, that provided a, a lot of good benefits. So twice a week, 40 to 45 minutes. Now I want to end with this. In life, there are some things we need to do or should probably be doing for our general health, right? Um, you might not like to brush your teeth. I don't think anybody really likes to brush their teeth. Maybe the 1% of weirdos, but we all brush our teeth. So we don't, so our teeth don't fall out and we don't have skank breath, right? <clears throat> there, <laughs> there are things that we don't like to do, but that we have to do for health or we should do for health. Eating healthy is one of them. General activity, like sitting a lot, is, sitting is basically the new smoking, right? That's how we like to phrase it, right? That's how we like to, to dumb it down or to simplify it. Sitting is a new smoke, smoking. So general activity is good. People ask me a lot about cardio. What kind of cardio? Who cares? Just get moving. Do what you love. Go bowling. Go walking. Go do judo. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Just get off the couch. Even if you're standing and painting, for God's sake, that's a far better option than sitting on your butt. So you got eating healthy. You got general activity, raising your general activity level. And then you have resistance training. Resistance training isn't really, shouldn't really be considered optional for general health. It is a great tool for overall health. And there's so much research to back the benefits of keeping a strong body. You don't have to. You don't have to train like me. You don't have to train like the other guys on the internet. You can train and just use moderate weights and you don't have to beat up your body and chase all these ridiculous muscle and strength levels. You don't. There's still going to be health benefits to it. Plus, you're being active. So, this video, what do you do if you hate lifting? You still want to do it. Just relax. Don't pressure yourself. Um, relax. Don't pressure the people in your life who probably should be lifting if they show an interest. Just assume that they're not going to love it on the same level you are. And it's okay for them to do it only twice a week for 40 minutes. So relax. Don't pressure yourself. And try to do it as a habit, a healthy habit, just like you would brushing your teeth or eating healthy. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.